हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज दैट डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ द फोर्स एफ अबाउट पॉइंट ओ एक्सप्रेस द रिजल्ट एज अ कार्टिजन वैक्टर एंड इन द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ द फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट पी सो फॉर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स अबाउट दिस पॉइंट ओ एंड देन इन द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू फाइंड the moment of this force f about that point p so now the solution of the first problem so for the solution of the first problem we have to define the moment arm so the moment arm for to find the moment of this force f about point o can be this position vector from o to e so this is the moment arm for that force f to find the moment right so is we know that the moment is the moment is always equal to the cross product of the moment arm that is roa with force f vector so to find the cross product we have to uh, write this position vector as a cartesian vector and f is already given as a cartesian vector so we have to represent this position vector in terms of i j and k so to write this position vector in terms of i j and k we have to travel from o to a in the direction of x y and z so as we can see that to reach that point a from o we have to travel 1 meters in the positive x so let me write the position vector from o to a so that is in the positive x we have to travel 1 meter so that is plus 1 i we have to travel 1 meters in the positive i then 2 meters in the negative j so i will write minus 2j and then 6 meters in the positive k so i will write plus 6k so this is the position vector from o to a which is the moment arm so now we can write this um uh, moment in terms of the matrix determinant so that is i j and k and then the position vectors the component of the position vector so that is 1 minus 2 and 6 1 minus 2 and 6 and then the components of the force so that is minus 6 plus 4 and 8 minus 6 plus 4 and 8 and then we have to take the cross product uh, sorry the determinant of this matrix so now uh, we, to find the determinant we we know that we have to write plus with minus minus with j and plus with k and then we have to hide uh this row and this column so then this is the sub matrix for plus i so we can write that this moment this is moment about o so this is moment about o so moment about o is plus i into this is minus 2 into 8 is minus 16 and then minus 6 into 4 is 24 and then minus j so i will write minus j and then we have to hide this row so we are left with this sub matrix so that is minus j into 1 into 8 is 8 and minus into minus plus and 6 into 6 is 36 so that is plus 36 and then we have to hide this so then this is the sub matrix for plus k so that is plus k and 1 into 4 is 4 and minus into minus is plus plus into minus minus and 6 into 2 is 12 so this is uh minus 16 minus 24 this gives us minus 40 so this is minus 40 i minus 40 i minus uh 44 j this is 44 j and this is minus 8 k so this is that cartesian vector of the uh, moment about point o so this is the result right now to find the moment of this force f about point p we have to define our position vector from p to a that would be the moment arm so this will be the position vector from p to a and then this will be the moment arm let me write this is the position vector from p to a and again we have to write the position vectors in the same method using the same method we have to travel from p to reach that point a along x y and z we can travel in any order right so the position vector from p to a position vector from p to a is equal to 
So now uh, we have to travel 3 meters in the negative z or we can say uh, um, or we can say that we can tra we need to travel 4 meters in the negative y. So first I will travel 3 meters in the negative k so I will write minus 3 k then from here we need to travel this distance which is 4 meters in the negative y and then plus 2 meters further 2 meters distance so we have to travel this 4 plus 6 so 6 meter distance in the negative j so I will write minus 6 j and then once we reach here we have to travel this distance in the in the positive x so this is 1 meter so this is plus 1 i and then again we have to travel 6 meters in the positive k so I will write plus 6 k so now we can write this is uh, 6 6 k minus 3 k so that will give us 3 k so this is plus 3 k so this is the position vector or the moment arm of this force f from that point p about which we want to find the moment so now the moment about point p will be equal to the cross product of the position vector from p to a multiplied by the four cross product with that force f so again we have to write this as a matrix so then this will be i j and k and then the position the component of the position vector so that is 1 1 minus 6 plus 3 and that force f is minus 6 plus 4 and plus 8 so this is mp and then again we have to we have to write uh, plus with i minus with j and plus with k and then we have to take to find the determinant of this matrix so that is plus i and minus 6 into 8 is minus 48 and minus 4 into 3 is 12 and then minus j minus j and then that this will be our sub matrix so that is 1 into 8 is 8 and minus into minus plus 16 to 3 is 18 and then about k so that is plus k multiply by this 1 into 4 minus into minus plus and plus into minus minus so that is minus 36 so this gives us uh, 40 minus 48 minus 12 so that is uh, minus 48 minus 12 so that is 60 right so minus 60 i and that is 18 plus 8 is 25 26 right so this is minus 26 j and that is minus 32 k minus so this is the moment of that force f about that point p so and this is that cartesian vector representation of the moment about that point p and remember that the unit of both of these moments will be uh, since the force is in kilonewton so that is kilonewton into meter so we have to write that the units are kilonewton meter and similarly this is also kilonewton meter so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe ingenious academy and let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning